Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are in the training facility. Fucking dog would start barking right now. God damn it. Anyway, hopefully the mic doesn't pick that up. I don't think it does. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna look and see. No, I don't think it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. We'll have to see later on in the editing process, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, we're going to head up here. We're going back up to that third floor. But first, we're going to make a little pit stop in this room. Make sure you have your shotgun-wielding character when you enter this room. And get ready to blast this thing. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Nice. So yeah, you gotta make sure you're ready to blast those guys. <laughs> Here I come to save the day. Attack an enemy to save the partner who's grappled with that enemy. Or grappling with that enemy. Grappling. Grappling with that bug. You're just like, oh, oh. I don't know why I keep switching them. Alright. Let's snag these shotgun rounds. I don't care about that. I want these shotgun rounds. This Billy's gonna need it. He's an orange now. Ooh. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Rebecca pick up this take the white statue of course and here's a blue door it's locked the door is embossed with a fire motif these paintings aren't even packed in boxes they're just stacked here haphazardly let's see what this said the painting depicts an aristocratic lady the painter has extenuated her sense of nobility and right here we have a nice little grenade launcher that we're gonna pick up with Billy Make sure Billy has the grenade launcher and the shotgun. Uh, actually, and... <laughs> this is why I brought this healing item along. Make sure his ass is at full health or doing decent. The boss fight isn't bad, but you're going to need Billy for it. It's not too difficult, but... I don't know, just in case. I have a lot of shotgun ammo. I feel like I'm doing a lot better than this one. Uh, I'm going to equip the grenade launcher. So we're going to want to use this first against the boss. You know what? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, we'll use this first against the boss. We're going to light up. Just light up into him. We're going to have to go up here first, though, and head over here back to these chains. These winding chains. We're going to split them up. I'll go alone. We're going to have Billy operate the uh, crank here for this. Because Rebecca was too weak to do it earlier. But, I mean, to be fair, Billy is a 26-year-old Marine, you know, or former Marine, and Rebecca is 18 years old and, I don't know, is a medic. I don't think medics do a whole lot of weightlifting. They do all the smart stuff. So, oh, look at that. It's a red key. Looks like it's our fire key that we've been looking for. So that's good for us. This is the Centurion, <laughs> which is our next boss battle. If I was Rebecca right now, I would have shit myself. I would have been like, oh, pfft. I would have already died because that would be... If some, like, bug thing just came and gripped me up, that would be... Oh, man. That would be so scary. I'm losing my mind. All right. Just make sure you shoot him. And that damages him, too, even if it doesn't show his little stun animation. Let's wait right here. So there we go. That's all seven shots. I have to bust out the shotgun. She takes damage very slowly. So as you can see, it kind of looked like he was tearing her to shreds, but not really. He wasn't doing a whole lot of damage to her. And when he puts his stomach up like this, that's a very good time to, like, capitalize on him. Ow. Damn, really? I can't believe I took damage. <laughs> Pisses me off when I take damage on a boss that I shouldn't have even took damage for. Just make sure you stand right here at the corner, kind of. Because he stops right here. There you go. And that's going to end that. Rebecca. 
Rebecca. Rebecca. Are you all right? Yes. Thank you. No problem, girl. Girlfriend. Okay. So I'm thinking. So yeah, we just got that achievement for defeating the Centurion. I'm trying to figure out where we have to go next. We're gonna have to go fill. We're gonna go into that little right room over there, that gray room to the right, because uh, that is locked with the fire key. And then up here on the second floor, we're also going to go to those two rooms on the far left. One is what we need to unlock with the lighter. The other one we'll unlock with the red fire key. And then we're going to get rid of that key. All this shit on the right, except for that bottom room that's locked with the red. All that shit on the right, we're going to come back to and revisit. That's the room that we got the grenade launcher in. That little room that borders all that. So all that other stuff, we're going to have to come back later and revisit. We're not going to like take care of all that on our first journey here in the training facility. But we're going to take care of most of the training facility. In fact, we're almost kind of done with what we're going to do. <laughs> we're not almost done. We're like halfway there. We'll probably take a couple episodes, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's, I guess we can, I'll go alone. oh, she's okay. already with me, this way. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and equip that, re-equip that handgun with her, make sure he's doing good, so I have eight shotgun, oh no, I have nine extra, okay, so I'm doing okay, you know, I have a total of 16 shotgun rounds, alright, so now that we have this fire key, though, we're gonna head back to the main entrance hall. I'm going to drop off this grenade launcher because it's taking up two two weapon spots, you know. In my inventory. That's not good. And, uh, what, let me see what needs to open this room. Oh. Oh, okay, it's the clock. So that does open with the clock. So the clock opens two rooms. I thought it only opened one. So that makes sense. Makes total sense. So we're going to head down here. Here's more key items. Uh, we can actually... Drop this here for now. Yeah. We have the key with her. Billy can go ahead. Whoa. I'm not going to lie. The camera ankles work a lot better. Um, I'm going to drop the rocket la or the grenade launcher right here. Work a lot better with the other, with the original control set. Cannot leave any more items in this room. Looks like I need to grab a healing item or something. Are we about to need this? No, we're not going to need that gasoline. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's grab a healing item then. We'll pick up a healing item, take it with us. Probably going to end up needing to use it anyway, so why not? We'll take these. We'll have that green and red herb on. On stat. Ugh. I always press wide open the menu because that's that's how you open the menu in the first Resident Evil. For the, uh, you know, or at least on the Xbox version on the remake. Alright, so let's use Rebecca because she... I don't know. Because Billy is idle with that shotgun. In fact... I think... I'll go. We can just leave Billy here. We're going to run in there. There's no, there's only enemies in this first room, and I don't remember if we passed them, like passed by them, like ignored them. I think we did, yeah, we did. We ignored the fuck out of these enemies. Use the facility key. Let's enter. So there's not a whole lot of like conflict in this room, so you don't want to bring both your guys and risk one of them wasting ammo or getting caught. You know, here's some more bottles. And lighter fluid. That's all we're going to find in here. We're going to give that lighter fluid to Billy. I didn't want to bring Billy, even though I, he, you know, you have to give him the lighter fluid. I didn't want to bring him just in case I had to end up getting into a fight and using a shotgun round. I'd much rather use my handgun bullets to take out these clowns. Save the shotgun rounds for much tougher enemies. We'll just have to deal with those guys later. So we're going to come back to that room, I'm sure. All right, and while we're here, why don't you take this? There we go. Now he has a working lighter. Oh, baby. And uh, let's leave these bottles over here. We'll mix the gasoline and bottles later when we need them. Can't leave them in the room. That's right. I forgot about that. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What should I do? Should I mix those herbs? Should I just use them? Dare I bring the bottles with us? Let's see, where where do we have to go next? We gotta go... Okay, yeah. So let's just, we'll, we'll head to this room first. We're gonna need to. We're gonna be picking up another key item. <sighs> we can't drop any more, actually, but we're gonna combine it with another one, so... That's not bad. So it's only, it still counts as one item, you know? When we drop it... Oh yeah, I dropped the handgun up there. I don't think a zombie... Yeah, respawned. So that's good. Here's the other fire door. Which one should we go through first? Should we go through the fire door? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go through the fire door first. Because that way we can get rid of this key. Not that it matters. You only pick up like two items in the other room, but still. Get rid of that key because we don't need it anymore. There's no enemies in here. You stay here. Yeah. I'll just let Billy stay there for now. Get ourselves a little puzzle. We're going to want to turn on this light right here. There's a switch here. Flip it. Yes. And uh, we got some handgun rounds. Oh my god. There we go. Some handgun ammo. Rebecca can take that. Here's our next file. Sitting here on the table. Assistant Director's Diary. September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though. So can't complain I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, practically Al, AI? Practical AI? I don't know. They re Oh, practical Al. Scholar Will, practical Al. They really are opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's sometimes, or there's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 8th. She's talking about William Birkin and Albert Wesker. The, William Birkin discovered the, the G-Virus or something. He discovered some virus. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that director Marcus has ever shown interest in everything or in anything other than his research. Well, whatever orders are orders. <laughs> I read that really weird. I'm going to have to uh, them tear at each other's throats. So you create a rival rivalry between them. There would be a uh, shotgun ammo, I think, over here on an easier difficulty. This globe is extremely well crafted, but it's so old that it feels like it's going to fall apart when you spin it. But we're playing on hard mode, remember? Because we're gangster like that. Uh, so we'll have Rebecca wait over here. Switch over to Billy. Have him push this forward. Ah, oh, the camera angle change was really weird made me stop pushing it and Billy can just wait there while Rebecca pushes this way get it right under that moose head wherever the fuck that thing is elk head deer head looks like a moose there's something or there seems to be something here take the iron needle so yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that on that clock tower up on the third floor that we were at earlier. Make sure they're together, too. By the way, don't want to leave one behind. <coughs> Alright, so let's head back into that other room, which actually has the lift to uh, head up to that third floor area. Or second floor, not third floor, I'm sorry. Second floor area with the clock. Or maybe it is the third floor. It is the third floor. Yeah, I can hear them up above. Uh, right now we're going to use Billy to light this candle over here. We use his lighter a few times throughout the game. We're going to use it later on in the next area. Which will be the, the basement. The training facility basement. Now we can head through this dough. That was weird. 
Okay. I don't remember if there's an enemy in here or not. I hope there's not. Oh god. Oh god, there are totally enemies in here. Oh! Can't believe Rebecca handled both of them. I was about to switch to Billy. Bust out that shotgun. Kick some ass. So we got some grenade uh, launcher ammo right here. You can put this inside the grenade launcher. So it won't count as a separate item when it's just hanging out. Actually, we need Billy. Let's split We're going to have her wait down here so she doesn't get in the way. Because every time I seem to do this, the AI partner gets right in the way. I try and move the bookshelf this way. And they stand right in front of it every time. I'm like, oh my god, why would you go there of all the places you can go in the room? Why not behind me? You're following me, why not behind me? Why in front of this bookcase, like on this side, and it won't move? Won't budge. Not one bit. We got the book of good. We got the grenades. So let's head on out of here. Let's head on out of here. There is a lot of backtracking. Oh, yeah, I forgot to bring Ding Ding along over here. Come on. <laughs> totally forgot I separated them. Split them up. This way. I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, a lot of backtracking in Resident Evil games. I like it, though. I love the mansion in the first game. God, such a good setting. A lot better than the training facility, definitely. But they had to mix it up. I mean, you couldn't do two mansions in a row, you know. You gotta do the training facility. So we gotta go up there. And put this hand on the... Yeah, put the needle in the clock. Because we can't do anything else. Not for now. We could go in there, but that'd be a waste of time. Okay. Uh, we do have to do some... Item management, though. This will probably be the last thing we do, is go up top. Here to the... The clock. And put the needle on it. So let's head on down here and drop off a few items. Uh, so like for example, let's see, Billy's pretty full, right? Yeah. Let's examine this book of the good. Hmm. Let's look at the pages. Open the book. Oh, look at that. It's got the wings. So we can combine that with something else. Uh, here, let me give this to Rebecca. And this to Rebecca. That way Billy can pick up the grenade launcher and I can combine those grenades into it and then we can drop it. Whoops. Because apparently you have a limit to what you can drop in the room. And then we'll have her give him the good wings. I guess these bottles... Let's see why not. She can pick up this white statue. Damn it! <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, Billy has the. Alright. Didn't want to do that. I'm like all over the place right now. There we go. Now she can leave that behind. We're about to use this needle. And I suppose I'll have Billy combine these. Do we... Do we use the Molotovs already? I don't remember using... Uh... Oh, yeah, I just picked it up. Okay. 
that was behind the gas can. I was going to say, I don't remember using these Molotovs. We should have had some. Oh my god. That's fine, though. We're going to combine with these. That way we can leave this here. I think I'm going to... Should I bring the Molotovs? Just to fight those monsters? If I do, I want to give them to Rebecca, though. I don't think we'll need six, but probably only end up using like two of them. Okay, cool. So we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go up to that third floor. Unlock these doors. Oh, this is so good. I love it. I can't wait to do Resident Evil 1. I don't know how I'm going to do it, though, because there's, there's like two different ways to play the game. You can play it as Chris or you can play it as Jill and it's not just a simple character choice like swap like the mansion's laid out differently. Not like room adjustments and stuff but like items that you find and like items that characters have it makes the it makes the playthrough pretty different. I don't know. It makes it a lot different. It's pretty fucking cool. Adds to replayability you know. Oh geez. Let's get in this door before these crows attack. I remember the last time we were out there, I had a crow, like, dead on me. Alright, so remember, we got these two, we got these two fruitcakes here. Switch to Rebecca. I'm gonna move Billy up here. Jesus Christ, can I not get around him? Really? Alright. This is so dumb. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Now let's enter with Rebecca, and she should be up front. Hopefully. Yeah, okay, cool. Figure that out. Here, we need to bust these out. So I don't have to use my shotgun ammo. Move! Really? The fuck was that? Oh, it doesn't let you aim down. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, calm down. I only wanted to use, like, three. That's fine, though. Yeah, yeah. No, just give me the ammo. Maybe I have to come around here to this side. It's a lot easier. Yes. And let's equip this. That's dirty, though. I bet the computer's pretty on point with that uh, Molotov tossing. Okay. We'll use the needle. I don't know if you remember correctly, but we found a file that told us the the time. Well, it had a time on it, which hinted, you know, at this. Turn the minute hand. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I meant to go right. So we're going to turn the minute hand right all the way to 15, or to 3, which would be 15 minutes. We'll switch over to the hour hand. We're going to turn it left all the way down to 8. The uh, file said 8.15, so, you know, you can always look at your files to find it. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. It's going to unlock that door for us. In that door for us. So cool. It's looking good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Head back down to the main entrance hall. We're probably going to end the episode there. Yeah, this one's getting on some time. Oh god, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. 
probably don't even need to show all this. So yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna heal Rebecca, drop off a few items, and just kind of sort of do my thing, uh, get ready for the next episode, you know, so. That's pretty much it though, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna finish up the training facility, or at least this first visit of the training facility in the next episode. Then we're gonna head into the training facility basement. Basement's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brian. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Ah.